Hello and welcome to Simudan and welcome to uh, Derail Valley. So um decided we'd uh, give this game a go. I have actually uh, played it previously. I've started a new save game. Um, now the game actually only allows you to have one save game at a time. Um, so what you have to do is go into the files, find your save game folder, remove that and back it up somewhere. And then it will um, just start a completely new fresh game for you and then you have to um, if you want to go back to your old save you have to just swap them back around a um, little bit irritating a little bit annoying that it has to be done that way and hopefully um, in the future they'll um, they'll change that so you can have more than one save game but for now this is the way it is um, the game is in beta um, so yeah still a work in progress so we can't um, really fault them too much but I thought we'd have a little look um, look at the pros, the cons um, and uh, play through the first um, little bit of the game so uh, here we go, so welcome to Derail Valley Engineer let's get you a train driver's license once we're done we'll be free to roam the world so um, train driver's licenses are um, essentially bought in this game so you start with quite a basic train then you have to keep going um, and have to uh, upgrade to different types of train oh hazard and because it's built for VR it allows you to do this so you don't get travel sick or you don't get motion sickness I think that's what it's called there, so. pick up different things again it's built for VR I don't actually have VR but it works completely fine without so it's best by pushing G and you just literally like lob it right I already know how to do all this that in my inventory as well so you can so here is our basic cab and train so flip these switches it's a fuse box okay we've got a wrong um, and we've got a parker up there, so press X to sit. Although I don't really know whether I like sitting. It feels a little bit like this is a standing train, to be honest. <laughs> right, so the reverser into forward. I can't remember which way the brakes go. I think it's that if they're facing away from each other, then they're good to go. Maybe this one doesn't need to be on until I can't quite remember. There we go. So I don't want to go too quick. Um, so essentially, it only allows you to drive in this little area. Um, so the idea of the game is um, you do jobs. various different train driving jobs whoa that slowed quick you can tell it's been a while since playing so you do uh, various uh, different jobs and uh, by that you uh, get to upgrade your different uh, train driving licenses you get to um, then take on bigger and better jobs and um, more money essentially um, so the whole idea is to earn as much money as you can and uh, you do that through um, on sort of on this fictional map. And you are responsible for literally everything. So um, 
unless they've changed it since there are no AI trains there's nothing else going on it's just you at the moment um, I think that's on their plan to change in the future um, but you do literally everything so you switch the points you drive the trains you couple and uncouple the um, various carts you have to search out for the right um, the right siding the right um, the right cars that have to be adjoined to your train for a particular job. Literally everything is down to you. And uh, it is called Deverhell Valley because it is fairly easy to derail your train if you go too fast and uh, when you do that um, nowadays it's um, free if you haven't got um, particular licenses I have a feeling I need to get a little bit closer but um, it does cost you money in order to um, in order to uh, continue on um, re-rail car there you go so re-rail actually does cost money so every time you derail it's going to cost you something feeling need to get a manual So these manuals tell you exactly how to do everything. Um, I'm going to try this on my own because it's been, although it has been a while. So first things first, we pull that, and it won't reach. So let's let me drive the train. See if I'll reach now. That should reach, but literally. Buffer to buffer. Buffers? I think that's what you call them. There we go. Sometimes it's a little bit disjointed, like that. It doesn't like to acknowledge that you've got it into the right place. Like, I'm fairly certain that should match on there. There we go. Let's find that up. Now I need to join those for the brake pipes. I think that is it. If I remember correctly. So the multiple unit we require a license for which we don't have. That enables you to connect more than one train together at a time. Um, so more than one locomotive together at a time and then they'll um, start communicating with each other. We don't have that license at the moment. Maybe it wants me to... Um... Oh no, that's the basic shunt. So, got coupling, which is just done. So take one of the, ch one of the two chains, done that. Place on adjacent hook, done that. Tighten the coupling, done that. Connect the hoses together and open the bait. That's the one I forgot. Opening the brake, but the the brake valves. I really cannot talk today. Which is there and there. Great job. Go get your license. Okay, I will. There we go. So I need to. So every time you do a job, you've got a job validator. Yeah, you just chuck it in there, and it prints out a little congratulations for you.
fruit hauler, so I can now haul fruit. Amazing. Now you don't have to keep these to in order for them to be valid. And a DE2, which is that locomotive that we've just been driving out there. And here's the key to my locker, which is this one. So I get a map. Yeah, a derail value guide, which tells you all about the different things. So about finding jobs, about accepting them, loading and unloading, different fees, insurance, so serv bleh, service tolerance, all these different things. Just a instruction manual and a schematic of stations. Now these are quite important. So for example, if I were to go to the steel mill, so let's have a look. So this is steel mill map A. So I know that so you've got the northeast and the southwest on there. So you'll come in at one of those two places. It will then tell you where you can be. So this is all the junctions in A, and it will tell you you've got 7L, which L means loading. Um, S, I can't remember what that means. Um, but then you've got the B, so if you Ooh, wrong way, if you go the other way, now this is the B map, so this is what's in that B section on this map. And it's pretty much just that. So then you've got the farm, all these different places, some places bigger than others, so some, some of them have several maps. Um, for example, you've got the harbour, I think is ridiculously large. Um, at some point, if, if this video goes well, um, then oh, it wants me to do this and check the wallet balance. Oh huzzah. Um, there's a map there too. Oh yes. So, um, so yeah, eventually if, if this goes well, what I'm planning to do is go um, and do maybe a playthrough of this. So starting now, I'll just carry on. So it wants me to go to the steel, uh, steel mill service point next, which we'll do. So the steel mill's only there, I'm there, so it's not that far, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, so yeah, the, the plan would be to do a playthrough um, and collect different things. Um, not sure exactly where to get to or how far to go with that, but um, depends how the video's going. Um, all the time there's interest, I'll keep doing them. If there's no interest, I'll stop. Right, now that I've got this coupled, I think I need to have that like that in order to drive. Or is it? So you've got these um, speed signs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you've got to watch that. That is not the first time, and it won't be the last time I've done that. I'll explain that speed sign in a minute. So I need my comms radio to change that signal, that signal, that. Am I still on it? Is that the problem? Maybe I'm not far enough away, I don't know. Then let me change it. Oh, it's because I'm on reroll. There we go. So you can see which direction you're going by which way the um, white line is slanted. So, right, as I was saying, you've got speed limit signs, like that one there with the number six on it. All you need to do is add a zero onto the end. So for example, this one says six, 
so it means 60. And providing you stick to those speed limits, you are not going to derail and you've got a nice little speedometer here. So all the train's fictional, the map is fictional. Um, I don't know how loud this is coming across on um, on video, but it's coming through my my headset ridiculously loud. So my apologies in advance if I um, get that wrong. Um, so if this is too loud for you. So good thing is, yeah, fine. They will always change for you, so you don't derail going over points in the wrong direction. So um, yeah, I think what we'll do today is if we get to the steel mill, have a look at the service, and, um, service centre there, um, I'll run through what I think. Yeah, bit jolty. Um, to be honest, my computer shouldn't be able to run this at all, so... No. Okay, break now. Fine, let's break now. Oh, let's see what happens, right. So, taking out the station map schematic. I've got the wrong. And I need the steel mill page. Okay, so, see the service point? Is that one? We're approaching from the north east. Whoa, wrong button. Sorry for that. So we're approaching the northeast. We want to come down here. So we know. So this is the steel mill here. So we're currently roughly here. And there's that set of points just there. So we know we've got to go down that way. Oh yes, I forgot just how. So these um, trains are quite slow and you need quite a bit of power to get them going. Um, so part of the game is you need to, and I will call this one a game but not a simulator I think, um, I think it's just edging a little bit more toward game than simulator at the moment. Um, I'm not sure that will ever change if I'm honest. Um, So yeah, this particular train can be a little bit, um, bit slow because it's just, it's just a basic start-up one. It's really meant for sort of shunting goods around, around a yard. Um, there are bigger and better trains. Um, but yeah, this, as I say, the train's fictional. The uh, map is fictional. Everything is fictional. Um, and I seem to have frozen. Now previously, I've been playing this and it's been, um, there you go, moving again now. Previously I've been playing this and it's been um, running really smoothly. I do wonder if it's because I'm recording video that it's just that little bit more um, tetchy. Um, it is quite a power hungry game. Um, I think because it's trying to aim for those VR headsets and, um, rather than a computer monitor and uh, yeah, it, it's probably the reason why it's almost there. So we're aiming for that shed over there. Gonna take our merry time about it though. Yeah, I'm sure it said I could go 50 down here, but why you'd want to go 50 ploughing into a shed with a brick wall at the back, I have no idea.
bloke hose over there. So all of this is functional as well. You've got the um, the turnstile. Um, they are functional. Um, in fact, it's quite recommended that you use them because if you drive a train backwards, then they tend to overheat. There you go. I don't know why it's turned itself off, but it has. So what you do here is you've got all these different things. So you can, um, so if you need um, to repair, so they degrade over time. So your engine, your wheels, your body. Um, if you've got a steam train, you need coal, water, you've got oil, sand, and diesel, and uh, all of those things. So in this one, oil, fuel, sand, all of those are needed. Um, and uh, all of those can be purchased here. And there is a price which is listed down the bottom here. So if I needed diesel, it's going to cost me $3.36 in order to um, top that up. You just pull the lever and it gets debited from you. You have to pay for it over here. And I think it doesn't actually put it in until you've hit the buy button. Um, and you actually have to put the money in yourself. So. It wants me to use a turntable to bring the locomotive out onto the track. Um, I won't do that now. We'll do that possibly in another video. I'll go over here instead. So every um, sort of town or place, really, you've got a station building like this. It's not a lot to them. You've always got a little map, and it tells you where you are with that little flag there. Um, and it's got a map here of what resources go where. So we're at a steel mill, and you can trace... Essentially, you can trace the... Um, the entire um, production line. So there is actually a proper industry. So for example, we're at a steel mill, but um, everything that happens here has come from either the coal mine or the iron, or from the iron ore mine, which are two places that you can go. Um, there's also a machines factory that brings stuff here as well. Look. Um, and then from here, you've got these things are produced. And these will go to the goods factory or to the machines factory. And then from there, they'll go to all sorts of other places. Uh, you've also got um, whatever this resource is, I can't quite see. Um, and then that will go to the harbour. So these are the different options, different places you can come to or go to from here. So there is a whole supply line that's very complicated. Um, in fact, we could probably find it. There's um, what's that look like? So steel rails will go that are produced here at the steel mill will go to the harbour, um, and then you can look down here at the different jobs. So if you pick up a job, um, so this one requires two licences. It needs freight freight haul licence, which we got um, a moment ago, and it needs the long one licence, which we did not get. So, we can't do that one. That's not literary. Um, so really, we need to find one that we can. So, this is a shunting one. I don't think we've got a shunting license either. In fact, you can have a look on here. So if you go... It's not going to let me. But um, using this, you can find all your licenses, any fees you have to pay. So um, there are certain things that will cost you money. Um, you can't ever leave a train unfueled. If you leave a train unfueled and go and pick another one up, then it will charge you for the fuel that you've used. So that's not something that can be done. Um, but yeah, so basically you need to look at a license. 
find one that you can do, we might be able to shunt, ah, uh, this one, we can do, so steel mill to the harbour in town. Um, and you get a nice sizable chunk of almost $12,000 for that. Um, and if you can do it in less than 32 um, minutes, you get a time bonus as well, which will get you um, additional money. Um, so you really want to be aiming for that, um, not just. Um, you, you always want to be aiming for doing everything within that time. So in order to do that, um, you can take the job and find um, everything uh, and you'd have to, so for example, this is one, two, three, four, five steel cars. So you would want to come out and you'd want to find the train that you think it would be before you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, probably not. That's six in a row. Sometimes you have to hunt a couple of few though. One, two, three, four, five. It's probably this one. The harbour, if you look at the map, I know already, but we'll have a look. Um, look at the world map. Um, we know I'm facing. We know I've come from here and we're facing this way. So we know that if I follow this route round, I can come to the harbour in town. So if we know that we'd need a train. Oh, don't want to take get rid of that. Uh, we know we'd need a train to go that way. And what's handy is there is always a rail down the middle of these places where there's a free rail. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Um, there's also different things like shops and things, and you can buy additional tools. Um, and um, I think they've just added like a um, music player to the game and stuff like that, which is another viable thing. Um, so yeah, what do I think of this game? Um, I like it. I think um, I can lose hours in this game quite easily. Um, I'm going to get very confused come next time if I'm not over here. Um, I can lose hours in this game quite easily just taking train from place to place. The Where it falls down is its realism. It's not built to be real. It is not built to be a proper simulator. I don't know why I did that. Um, I mean, the game is stunning. Just the scenery and everything. It's a bit of a shame you get um, so much foliage um, growing up within the tracks. Um, but, you know, as I say, the game's in beta. You can't expect too much in one hit. Um, yeah, overall, I, I just... Yeah, so I can lose hours. It's addictive. It's, it's peaceful and relaxing. Um, there's a lot more that needs to be done, I think. Um, and But for what it is at the moment, for the fact that it is in a beta and it's exciting as more and more comes out, you get to see the progress being made and progress is being made um, slowly but surely. Um, so yeah, I, I would recommend this game. Um, I would, uh, in fact, strongly uh, recommend this game to anyone thinking of getting it. But if you are a serious um, simulation enthusiast, I would probably um, tell you you're not going to get a serious simulator from this. That's, it's just not what it is. It's not what it's meant to be. Um, it is a bit of fun. Um, as I say, it is quite easy to derail and um, I will probably do um, a deliberate derailing in a future video uh, to show you that. Um, if you obey the signs... Okay, well let's get that aligned. In fact, you can actually push this around, let's do that. Um, you can... Um, you can keep the rail on track if you uh, either your train on track 
quite easily if you um, obey the signs and you understand what's going on but equally it's very very easy especially on downhill slopes and there are a lot of them in this game for um, for the train to just run away from you um, so yeah edge on caution in that respect So um, what I'm doing actually is I'm playing pretty much on the scroll rule. So as I do, as I'm using these, I'm just using the scroll, the scroll rule. Um, so you've got headlights, cab lights. In fact, cab lights are quite useful. Got a fan which doesn't actually do anything really. Um, yeah. So you got there's there's a lot to the game. Um, I've only really just scratched the surface. Um, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed watching this, hopefully you want to see more, hopefully you want to see what's, um, what this game can really do. Um, we'll have a bit of a play through, we'll take a couple of jobs. Um, let me know in the comment section if you've enjoyed this, um, let me know uh, what you think of the game, if you've played it yourself. Um, let me know if maybe you disagree with my opinions, um, maybe you don't like it at all, maybe um, you wish it were uh, more serious, or you think it is serious enough, maybe. Um, yeah, let me know. Um, but for now, that has been it. Um, I have now, I'm uh, starting a new upload schedule. Oh, no wonder it wasn't locking in it wasn't anywhere near far enough over um, so I'm starting a new upload schedule now let's move away from the train it's a bit more peaceful um, and I am looking to upload every Monday evening it will be quite late on a Monday evening but it will be every Monday morning uh, uh, Monday evening in British time um, so look out for that um, next week I um, looking at um, either doing um, a live stream for Eurotrack Simulator and continuing um, the much forgotten series that I started but have got nowhere near to the completion with um, of the um, Aberdeen to Istanbul race across Europe um, so that's what I'm hoping to do next week um, if if not, um, then it, uh, that if I, if I'm doing that, in fact no, let's let's put that in the diary now. I'm doing that next week, um, 8 p.m. next Monday um, is um, when that live stream will go live, and it should last for around about an hour, um, possibly two, at a pinch. Um, until then, if you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't already, then consider subscribing. I do lots of uh, simulation videos. Um, do um, Train Sim World, um, Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, this Euro Truck, um, some Bus Simulator. Um, if simulators in the name, I probably will play it at some point. So if you are into all things simulation, then hit that subscribe button as well. Um, until next time, I'll um, see you around.